An apple for the teacher. I've gotten a few in my career. Where does that idea come from? Well, I think I'll introduce Sir Isaac to you. Sir Isaac Newton, maybe the greatest scientist who ever lived. What's the apple connection? Well, you know the story. He supposedly came to the laws of gravity. He didn't discover gravity, as some students say. Gravity was always there. He explained gravity. No, the apple didn't fall on his head, but he did watch an apple fall. And he wondered, why does that apple fall down? Why not sideways? Why not up? What if it fell from twice that height or three times that height? Well, he started contemplating this, and this is what led him to formulate the laws of gravity. But Sir Isaac was a very interesting gentleman. Not only he dealt with physics, believe it or not, he was also into chemistry. He was into alchemy. He tried to make gold. And uh, many of his experiments were using mercury. And mercury vapor can be highly toxic. Now, the reason I mention this is because uh, the great man certainly had some perks in his character. He didn't like to talk to other people. Uh, even when he was elected to parliament, he never spoke. Apparently, the only time he made any kind of comment was to say, uh, can someone please close the window? But uh, in the area of physics, of course, uh, he made many, many important uh, uh, contributions. But the reason I, I mention this is because, you know, science is all about making observations and coming to conclusions. And uh, it is not an easy thing to do. For example, uh, you know that the rooster crows and the sun comes up. Well, if someone is uneducated, they might start to believe that it is the crowing of the rooster that makes the sun come up. It's all logical because one event follows the other. But just because we have one event following the other doesn't mean that those two events are related. Uh, correlation is not the same as causation. This is a very important uh, fact to keep in mind, especially because sometimes you might see someone put out a graph that shows an increase in autism paralleling the increase in use of pesticides, implying that there's a connection. Well, you could draw an equal graph by showing the increase in autism and increase in use of cell phones or flat screen TVs. Just because they go together doesn't mean that uh, there's any kind of a cause and effect relationship. So making observations and coming to conclusions is, is a very important part of science. And Isaac Newton is a shining example of that. But there's something else that we will give Isaac uh, credit for. Uh, when he was once asked, how is it that you made so many great discoveries? He said, it is because I have stood on the shoulders of giants. And that was quite an admission from someone who was reported to have been quite an egotist, because that is how science works. Uh, it is not singular accomplishments. It is a collage of accomplishments that eventually uh, allows us to formulate theories and to come to conclusions. So now you have an idea of why it is that the apple is a gift very often from students to, to teachers, because the apple represents discovery. It represents learning. Uh, does it also keep a doctor away? Well, an apple a day is said to keep the doctor away, an old wedge saying, maybe if you throw it at him or her. But I think it is a good idea to eat an apple a day, especially the peel, because it's full of a large variety of antioxidants that at least in cell culture studies have been shown to be beneficial. So Sir Isaac, thanks for your contribution, and thanks for uh, the apple story too.